Hey everyone, I live under your house. <laughs> Just thought I should tell you that that is the name of the game that we're playing. Now, I'm, I don't live under your house. I'm not in your walls making noises, you know, knock, knock, who's that? Not me. I'm not watching you sleep, that'd be weird, all right? This is an analog horror game about things. I don't really remember. I don't really know. I don't remember getting this game. I gotta be honest, but I hope you're having a good shirt day. Let me know in the comments if you are. Let's do, let's do this. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for... Are those holes? Sorry. Main story? DLC story. Let's do the main story right now. Okay. I opened my eyes and here I am. Home again. <laughs> Is this under somebody's house? It's such a wonderful feeling being inside somebody's house. I don't want to go forward. <clears throat> As usual, no one. That's good. <laughs> it's very good. I like being alone. Am I a mole? <laughs> Maybe I'm just a rat. This is the main hall. How nice it is here. Every time I come here, I feel joy and pride because I dug all the holes. Hmm. I don't even know which hole to go in first today. What's with the eyeball? Are you watching me? Am I being watched? Which hole should we go in? Let's, let's, let's pick a hole to go in. What answer, answer at home on your devices. What hole should I go in? Uh, forward hole, down hole on the left, down hole on the right, or down hole in the middle. Um, I'm feeling forward hole today. Ah oh, man. I rarely go outside, especially since He's waiting for me on the way. Who is waiting for you? Who is waiting for you on the way? Is it Markiplier? Is he waiting for you? What are you doing in under my house? Ah, that rapscallion. Uh, there is a spirit standing right in the exit. And every time I pass by, he starts talking to me. I don't like to, to intercourse with him. I don't want to have sex with him either. I didn't think that was on the table. Okay, well, I don't want to have any kind of relationship with the spirits. So is there only one hole that I can go in? It can't go outside. Okay. Ahead of me is my pebbles. Pebble space? You have a space just for your pebbles? That's adorable. Where I keep the different stones that I find during my excavation. Okay, I like to look to them. Uh, uh, to, to stroke them? What are we doing to the pebbles? Oh, how I like to stroke them. Golly, it's getting hot down here in these holes. Man, we're stroking pebbles. There's intercourse with spirits. This is insane. All right. Sometimes I even dream about stroking a stone. And the feeling is so real, I can feel it at the top of my fingers. I love stones. I, do love stones. Yep, we love to Oh, look. Okay. Yeah, I would stroke these. These are nice little smooth stones. Look at these pebbles. They have been stroked a few times. I like it. Uh, oh, I can look around. Ooh. Okay. I found a rock sharp enough to cut through somebody's belly. Oh, that's great. Any other rocks to look, look at? Whose belly did I... Kind of look around here. Okay, so I gotta be looking around. Um, what is this? This is my sleeping place. Okay, this is where I usually sleep. Although I can sleep anywhere. Huh. Still, I prefer to sleep here. I mean, that's the that's the perks of living under somebody's house. You are free to sleep wherever you want. I'm so tired, but I can't sleep yet. Okay. Okay. No, no, I got it. All right. Anything else to look around at? What a nice variety of holes we have. This is lovely. Every tunnel is different. For example, this one is narrower than the others. Sometimes I think I might get stuck in... Oh, I don't like that a lot. I don't like that a lot. I'm very claustrophobic. Oh, is the, the thought of getting stuck underground? I can't do with the people doing like cave exploration. I could never. I could never. I'm too caked up. 
honestly, I would get stuck, all right? My caboose would not be loose. It would be stuck. Stuck and my heart starts beating harder. My whole body gets tense. I can't help it. I have to move slowly if I want to get out. I love this feeling. You know, some people do skydiving. Some people get stuck in caves, I guess. That's, is that a worm? Who is this? She died when I was born? Or so it seems to me. Who was this? I never knew my father. And maybe a creature like me has no father at all. For as long as I can remember, I've been alone all my life. That's sad. Well, you have me now. And you have your pebbles. So really, who's alone, all right? At first, I watched her body, hoping maybe something else would crawl out of it. And I would have a, a, a new relative. Family reunions, am I right? However, this did not happen. I talked to her body from time to time. Out of loneliness, though I mooed and made different sounds <laughs> rather than spoke. Are we a cow? Are we actually a creature? Huh? I had to eat its various parts because I was hungry. I am grateful to her. If not for her sacrifice, I would have died. Over time, I began to notice that her body was crusting over <laughs> and the places that I had bitten were getting scarred. I realized that she was still alive. So I started eating her body more carefully, trying not to take too big of a bite. Oh, well, that's so considerate and nice of you. That's so nice. Layer after layer, her body grew a kind of crust, eventually forming a cocoon through which I could no longer penetrate. Stop eating people! What? I don't know how much time has passed since then, but I waited and waited long enough for something to happen. But it never happened. I didn't want to go down this hole. I don't think I wanted to go down this hole. It's a pity she never really saw what beautiful creature I had become. You ate her! I don't think she would have thought you to be that beautiful. I don't know, you know. Motherly love, right? I don't know how many tunnels I had dug. Again, you ate her. Well, now I'm sure I'm all alone in the world. Great. I'm tired of worrying about her. Ooh, I am absolutely terrified of myself. Um, they're laughing at me. Who is? Every night when I try to sleep, they come to me to make fun of me. They laugh. They have so much fun when I cry. They watch during the day and wait for me to do something stupid, looking for opportunities to make fun of me so that they can come and laugh at night. Oh my God. Sometimes they talk to me. They whisper things. They want me to go outside. Do they now? After a night of torture like this, I usually wake up tired and hungry. So I crawl outside in search of food. Whoa! What a horrible noise. Is that a chainsaw? What is that? Oh! It won't stop. What the hell? What is that noise? Look around. Huh? I don't seem to have any other choice. I have to go outside and see what's going on. Okay, let's see what's going on. What? Is that the spirit that's trying to have intercourse with me? There you are. I knew you would show up soon. It's because of those noises, isn't it? Is this just another one of your pranks that you guys are playing on me? I don't want to leave my home. Maybe it will subside on its own. Hmm. Nonsense. Maybe they came to take your home. 
Maybe they came for you. Who knows what's making those awful noises? You must come out. Why do they want me to come out? Why do they want me to come outside? Okay, I'm out. And then what? You know what's next. There's something you always do. The same thing you do when you're hungry. Am I gonna bite more people and make them into cocoons? Am I a spider? Oh no. What makes your breathing quicken and your whole body tingle? It's time to go outside again. Is it time to go outside again? As soon as I crawl out of the open air, a disgusting sight came into view. They were metal creatures and a horrible looking structure stood before my eyes. They put up a building? They put up a barn? What? Did the Amish come in? I don't know. No, they wouldn't have metal creatures, right? You know? I have no specific plan of action. But one thing was obvious to me. There's a construction going on. And they were building right over my head. And something has to be done about it. There were too many people around and I couldn't act out in the open. I had to wait for the right moment and I started watching. That's creepy, that's creepy. All right, so we're just stalking these people, putting up like a building, a house. You vile creatures will pay for your disturbing my peace. Hello? Yeah, bees, bees, bees? What should I do with you? I have to be careful. If they find me, all is gone, but I can't do nothing either. My strength is only enough to deal with only one of them, but maybe if you kill one. What? The hunger is getting stronger and stronger? No strength to hold back. Something has to be done. Am I gonna kill or spare them? I gotta see what happens. I gotta see what. What? Why does that kind of look like Markiplier? <laughs> uh, yummy, yummy bee. What? Why is this? Why is he screaming? I just want. I just want to have a little snack. This is my skull room. I can't even say much. I can't. I can't say anything. I got Jeremy here, and he lives in my room. So this is like my skull room. After the first time I ate a human. I lay tired outside and didn't have the energy to crawl back home. You know, after a hefty meal, I don't want to crawl back home either. You know, please don't eat me or my family. Uh, the very first one I had was some guy sitting in the woods, drinking beer and talking to himself. Uh, okay, well, that guy just seems lonely and you ate him. That's mean. At first, I didn't want to do anything to him. I was just interested in watching him. When he noticed me, he started laughing out loud and pointing his finger. Okay, well, maybe he's a jerk. Maybe you should have eaten him. You know, that's that's rude of him. Then he suddenly picked up a stick and started hitting me with it. What's wrong? You gotta be hideous. I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm just, and we're all thinking it. Like well, I'm sorry. You ate per, you eat people and you live underground. When it was over, I lay there for a long time, looking at his skull. You ate him like down to the bone. Over time, I've accumulated so many skulls that sometimes I burrow inside the pile and gradually fall asleep. Oh, it's like a little look little, little nest. That's great. That's so good. You're insane. I don't even know what we are. That's a skull. Yep. Worker skull. All right. Another skull in my collection. I have no memory of how, uh, how it happens. So we just, we just kind of like black out. Any more skulls? Yep. That's a very nice skull room. Ooh, whose house is this? Eventually the house was finished. So they just didn't care about the person that I ate. They just said that ah, that's a workplace, you know, hazard. It happens. 
Different people began to come and go from the house. The unbearable stomping was causing me to have anxiety attacks with every knock. These people, yeah, they're just inconsiderate. You say, oh, we're a monster because we eat people. They are stomping really loud. So I think they deserve to get eaten. You know, everyone has that annoying upstairs neighbor. All right. That you want to devour and eat down to their skull and bones. And that's if we can't do that, then like, what are we really doing here? Right. What if they find me? What if it never ends and I have to move somewhere else? Oh, no. And then we lose all of our little burrows that we dug in our skull room. Where would I go? I don't have the energy to dig new tunnels. Oh, that's so sad. You love digging tunnels. Now, now you can't. And they're trying to make you move. That's that's messed up. This is like up when they try to make the old dude move from his house is exactly just as sad. From time to time, I had to crawl out to see if everything was OK, if they were looking for me. For some reason, I had the distinct feeling that they had to come to hunt me down. Well, maybe because you ate so many people, you have a skull room. That's not just like a handful of people. That's that's a substantial amount. People probably talking about you. One day people came in and dragged a huge number of boxes. A woman in a blue dress yelled at them and waved her her hands. And then everyone left. But the woman stayed in the house. Bo OK, so wait, the woman's just moving in, I guess. Time passed and no one else came to the house. It was just this woman. Well, she doesn't look like a threat, I thought. However, pretty quickly, t my life turned into a nightmare. Every action she took, every step, every sneeze echoed through the depths of my sanctuary. If she's able to hear, if you're able to hear all of what she's doing, do you think she can hear everything we're doing down here like us? rummaging through our skulls do you think she hears that I, I wouldn't want to live above somebody rummaging through skulls her life became part of my life gradually i got to know her schedule what she does how she does it i knew all of her habits okay the rhythm of her gait i began to feel my sleep was disturbed i just couldn't sleep with something constantly pounding, muttering, and shuffling over my body. In a few hours, I began to manage to sleep. Those ghosts of the night would come back to haunt me and make fun of me. Oh yes, now they really had something to laugh about. Thus my torture became a 24 hour routine. Sounds like you should eat her. Sounds like you should you should eat her and put her skull in your skull room. I had to do something about it. Even at the risk of being caught. Even the risk of losing my home. Who am I kidding? I don't have a home anymore. She took it away from me. I must get out and stop this nightmare. Chapter one, love? Am I in love? Are we gonna are we gonna find love with this this person, this woman? A uh, thrill of excitement overwhelmed me. I no longer have the strength to hold back and watch from the sidelines. It's time to find out who lives above me. Let's take a look. I need to look around and carefully before I act. Oh, we're, wait, we're moving around. What am I? Do? I? Oh, this is crazy. I thought this was just gonna be like text paper. Look at this. Oh, it's a piss bucket. Oh no, wait, there's something other than piss. Oh, it's a trash can. Sorry, I don't, I don't know why I thought it was. A, it's not a piss bucket. We're like kind of small for something that was like eating people. I thought we were like a much larger creature, but it seems like we're the size of almost like a cat. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever been inside a human's house before. There's so much space. It makes me sick. <laughs> there's barely any tunnels and cramped spaces. The only thing worse is this is the outdoors. There's too much open space. I guess you don't like that, huh? We like those cramped, cramped spaces. Look, she got an old TV and a book. It was a book. Ah, I know what this is. It's called a book. Once upon a time, it was very hungry. And just at that moment, 
a little man sat down next to the entrance of my home. I remember he had little hands, little feet. Oh, you ate a child. Oh, okay, you just ate a child. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a puppet. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little man also had a bag with him. I don't remember being aware of the dangers of the world at the time. So I climbed out of my hiding place with the interest and began to look at him. The little man did not notice me right away, but when he did see me, his eyes widened and his mouth opened that unimaginable way and made a horrible, disgusting sound. You scared him. You made him scream. Oh, that sound was driving me crazy. Oh, I just wanted to get close to him, but he kept crawling farther and farther away from me. Eventually, the feeling came over me. And then I remember it was his head in my hands. Okay, so yeah, you, you killed an aged child. Okay, yeah. His body was lying somewhere nearby. His bag had brought him was uh, slightly torn. And then I saw books scattered around. I don't know why they caught my eye, but I took them with me. Did you take his skull too? Is his skull in the skull room? All right. Many pages were badly damaged. That's probably our fault and stained with blood. Yep. Some pages were missing altogether, but that didn't stop me. I began to study and it was thanks to those books that I was able to learn the language of these creatures and get some idea of the human world. Oh, that's nice. We, we were learning to uh, make connections after we uh, brutally murdered a child. I found new books over time and examples uh, re recently when I <laughs> ate a couple of campers. I enjoy reading. I'll have to remember to pick this book up when I'm all done. You know, it's nice to go on little outings like this. Uh, I'm not familiar with this with human life, but I once saw construction workers staring into a similar dark box. They stood so intently and sometimes shouted some things and raised their hands in the air. Strange creatures, and I can't wait to eat them. A little plant. Little plants? This is nice. This is nice. These sick bastards are ripping up plants and putting them in containers. I find it difficult to understand the meaning of these perverse acts. You eat people and you're complaining about them putting plants in their house? I guess that makes sense. Makes sense to me. Oh, a toilet. This is the, this is the pissing hole. Oh, what a horrible, terrifying sound. I have to deal with this thing. It scares me. We're going to break her toilet, I guess. Oh, little bathtub. Where is the one? Oh, in there. Maybe let me check out this place first. Yeah, it looks like she still is moving in. Oh, I remember people lugging these boxes over here. I wonder what's in them. Should I check? Can I look through any of them? Again, I wonder what kind of creature we are, like what we look like. We're pretty low to the ground. I, I thought, again, I thought we were going to be much larger. Oh, is she sleeping? Hmm. That's it. There she is, lying in front of me. All that's left to do is take the first step. But I don't dare. Why? Something is wrong. My, my mood is not the same. I don't feel the same rush of energy, unbearable restraint as before are we falling in love is that it the chapter was called love maybe i should come back later i don't know apparently now is not the right time yeah i, I should definitely keep an eye on her maybe it's a trap hmm. well until next time birdie oh we're back in the school room and all the sounds she makes now don't seem to disgust <laughs> disgusting to me what see I, I i get that you're falling in love but like how do we break it to this human that we eat people i don't know if that'll make for a good connection 
I would even say that I became interested in hearing what she was doing. Hmm. There's water running down the pipes somewhere. I hear she seems to be taking things out of boxes. She's unpacking. Hmm. I wonder what she keeps in them after all. I think when I was lying at the door, I felt something strange. A feeling that I'd never had before towards another living creature. And so, I took a pile of skulls and I wanted to take some of my best skulls dearest to me and take it to her oh it's like a little gift that's nice leave it under the door somewhere that i'm sure she'll love it what's happening to me oh this is so lovely yeah she's gonna love this where's uh <laughs> brought my skulls with me did we take the book <laughs> we're gonna leave her skulls i'm gonna leave her a little skull present just like a little skull that's totally, that's, she's going to totally fall in love with us. Yeah, where is she? Hmm. Strange, the bed is empty. And apparently she's not in the house either. Where could she have gone at this hour? Hmm. I have to leave what I brought for her and hurry back to the window. In case she comes home soon. Oh yeah, she's going to love this. She's going to love that. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful, good choice. I feel like she's gonna open the door and just see us and we're gonna have to run away, like scurry out of the house. Okay, back to the window. Oh, isn't love grand? You know, just leaving little. Ooh, hi. Huh, here you are, back again. But something has changed in you. Yeah, we're in love, you know, I'm a little smitten. Nothing changes me. Everything is same as before. Is it? I thought you liked being alone. <laughs> it is. And I will always be alone. I don't need anyone by my side. Why did you hesitate when you had the chance to kill her? What are you hoping for? What do you think will happen when she sees you? The same thing that always happens. Shut up! <sighs> Your mere appearance cause her to vomit you're different from her shut up shut up shut up or do you think she'll move here <laughs> uh, maybe but only in pieces right shut up you vile spirit I'll prove you wrong I'll go back to her house right now and wait in her bedroom and We'll go back to my place together, you understand? Oh, yep, this is gonna go great. Ha <laughs> ha, I told you you've changed. Oh, yeah, this is gonna go great. Oh, we're gonna make, we're gonna make, uh, you know, make a friend. Well, the, the body that we left isn't here anymore. Did she, did she pack up and leave? Cause if I come home and there's a skull, some ribs sitting in my hallway, I'm leaving immediately. What? Huh? A note addressing, wait, Mark? Mark? Who is he? Mark? Or me, Mark? I'm, oh, huh? The note tells him to remember to pick up the box from the nightstand. Ooh, are we gonna get jealous of Mark and kill him? I I feel that coming. I feel that contains candles needed for. Uh, I I don't understand. There's a lot of here uh, words here I don't know. Huh? Marie, what? Damn it, Mark, we did it. What? Huh? Take it to the basement. <gasps> Wait, did we get kidnapped? Pay attention. It's still moving. Huh? Should we just December dismember it? Right in the basement? What? My whole body hurts so horribly. What happened? I, I don't remember how I got here at all. I, I read the note and then... Oh, it hurts. I can't remember anything. I have to go home. I think we... Uh, we got locked up in the basement. But did we kill them? Huh? 
front doors open. I guess I can just go through the front door. Chapter 2, Betrayal. Hmm? Where am I? In the forest outside? What is this? It's like a campsite. Huh? This is the tent of those pesky campers. We obviously shouldn't have set up camp near my place. And I guess we ate those pesky campers. Are we going through all of the memories of the people that we killed? Because look, there's, there's, a fl there's flashing lights leading us places. What's this one? Oh. It won't be long before I'm home again. Oh no, this is just... <laughs> I thought we were, like, reflecting on all of the people that we murdered, but no, this is just leading me back to my house. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Okay. I thought it was, you know, time for remorse because we had changed and we wanted to fall in love, but really, we're just going back home. The backpack. Remarkably similar to the one <laughs> the little man had. I remember how in some uh, fit of rage and hunger... I killed him, and the books fell out the exact same backpack. I took them, and that's how I learned how to understand the language of humans. Hmm. What's going on here? What is going on here? Where's the next uh, marker? I f are we in a trap right now? Or are we going to get killed? I don't know if we'll make it back to our house. Where's the entrance to our house? I thought we were like right under the lady's house. What is this? What is it? Salt? This wasn't here before. They're leading us into a trap. My body feels weak and sleepy. So I think I should just lie down for a while, but I need to go first. What? Marie. Did it really work? Why is that thing still moving? <sighs> Something is wrong. Mark, I, I told you. We should have just dismembered it. <sighs> At least we had a chance in the basement. All is passed out. You know it wouldn't have helped anyway. It can only be killed through a ritual? That's what the book said. The book that we, we found in the... The house? Huh? My whole body feels as if it was weightless. I can't move. I can barely look from side to side. What's going on here? That's her. The girl. I, I risked myself by getting out. What? Who's that with her? I, I don't remember him. What an ugly thing it is. Do you think it knows what's going on? Who cares? That thing understands. Mark, it killed our fa our father? Oh, I thought there were a couple. Ooh, that's... Ooh, okay, the siblings. Got it. Okay. Why doesn't it die is what worries me. Ugly. Why does she say such hurtful words? What? She doesn't like what I brought her? And this is after all we've had? What do you mean that we've had? You broke into her house and left behind a body and also apparently killed her father. What a fool I was. Oh, I thought we were made for each other. It seems to me that I knew her well. That maybe somewhere deep down in her soul, she guessed about my presence and was waiting for me to come. She probably wanted revenge for us killing her dad, I guess. Maybe that was the construction worker. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it was someone else. I've killed a lot of people. We had a skull room, you know? Are we sure we haven't forgotten anything? You know? Solomon's cell is holding it together. But I don't see foam from its mouth? Or blue flames or anything like that? Hmm. Holy crap, Mark. Are you... Are you asking me that? Well, 
Yes, I'm asking you. You have the book. Huh. So I thought it would happen someday. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I should really die. You know, why should I live when she treats me like that? Ah, I feel something new again. As if a thousand needles were tearing me from inside. Oh, crap, Mark. I get it. We forgot. Don't tell me. We forgot the candles, Mark. Oh, my God. The candles. I think uh, my strength is coming back to me. Huh. I can move again. So that's how it is. So she wanted to get rid of me all this time. You know, you brought me a lot of new sensations. Feelings that I haven't experienced before. And now after everything that happened, I'm so tired and I'm really hungry. I want to take you out to dinner. Mark, I think this is, thing is going to, to break out. Oh! No! Now it's your turn to come to my house. Revelation? I think the, the spirit dude was right, huh? In the end, Marie was just another skull in my skull collection. It's another skull for the pile. From then on, the voices never ceased. They began to follow me during the day. The laughter never ended. But it didn't annoy me. I finally found the meaning of my existence and began to laugh with these bizarre creatures of the night. I began to enjoy waiting for new tenants, playing with them eventually, of course. The tunnels were discovered, but by this time, I had already managed to move to a, ooh, another dwelling. Wait, did we bring our skulls with us? Especially since my collection has grown so much, I needed more space. I also read in a newspaper that after my tunnels were discovered, they found the remains of my creator here. They say they've never seen anything like this in their lives. As for Marie, I can hardly find the skull anymore among the remains. Not that I would like to, but I am grateful to her. After her betrayal, I realized my place in the world. And now I work non-stop. When I get tired, I sit down and laugh non-stop while looking at my tri triumphant collection. Thank you for playing ending two. Alright, so I what is the other ending? Is it we just don't kill the dude, I guess? Alright, here we are. This is the only real choice I feel like we have in the game. So this must lead to the other ending, right? Bees, bees, bees. Alright, let's uh let's spare him. Hmm. Eventually the house was finished. Okay, wait, this just cut to different people come and gone from the house? This is just the same though, right? Was this? Oh wait, what? Hmm? The pile of laundry <laughs> smell as soon as I entered the room. That smell? It holds your breath. What? Maybe I should take something with me just as a reminder? I'm stealing her clothes? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I decided to... Okay, why? Take one of the dresses with me? Alright, that's... Straight. I mean... I left a body behind in her house. There's not... That's... Taking her clothes is, like, less strange than that, I guess. So everything is the same, even though I spared that guy. So... I don't know what's different. Yeah. The candles. Something about the candles. I don't know how to get them to remember the candles. That's Mark's job, okay? I don't know why he just can't remember the candles, but I guess I'm gonna kill <laughs> Yep, oopsie daisy. All right, so let me find out what I can do uh, different. Oh wait, what is this? This is different. Ending one? Even the voices have gone silent and no longer laugh at me? Huh? The spirit no longer speaks to me too. And I dream only of darkness. 
Huh, is this because I didn't kill the guy? So, I don't, I don't know. Because I spared that guy, but then we also... But everything else seemed like completely the same up until this chapter. You know, everything with the ritual is the same too. I don't know. I mean, that's good. We got a different ending. Ever since that day I killed Marie, I've been lying next to her. Ooh, was the corpse of my creator. Okay, I, I don't do anything. I just lie there and stare into the darkness. I look at my body. And it too is gradually crusted over. No one ever moved into Marie's house so I can enjoy the silence. But I don't need it anymore. The crust is about to cover my eyes. And then I'll sleep for I don't know how long, maybe even forever. From everything that happened to me, I understood only one thing when I was at her bedside for the first time when I saw her bare heel dangling from the bed why are you looking at her at her dogs why are you looking at her all right I should have eaten her at that moment thank you for playing ending one Interesting, but I think there's a third ending. Right, this time I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> then also steal the dress. Because I didn't notice the dress the first time that I killed him, and that was the only other option that I found, unless I have to find something completely different. There was other stuff in the house that I didn't notice before, like the desk got set up on the second chapter, I think. So maybe I'll look around some more. Okay, so I, it's now it's your turn to come. I love how everything, no matter what I do, it just ends with eating Marie. I don't know what happens to Mark. Okay, so this is the third ending where we killed the construction worker and then also stole the dress. Okay. I moved into Marie's house. Oh, that's that's great. Alright. You could say she invited me in herself, huh? <laughs> now she and I talk to each other a lot. Is that her body? Uh, right there? Like, right? That's Wow, okay. Uh, I also began to better understand why people put flowers in pots. However, I don't use flowers. I like other things to furnish my surroundings, like bones and bodies. I also removed that awful black box. Hmm? Now instead, oh, the TV, yeah. <laughs> Something that is uh, pleasing to my eyes. I think I can uh, live here. Marie doesn't seem to mind either. I'm getting more and more used to open spaces. Marie and I will have to go down to my place one more time though. We'll be expecting cho- What? I can't imagine how- <laughs> How it happened myself, but um... The larvae- <sighs> Ew, they're already pretty big. Ew! needs to be uh, taken to my lair after all. They are my children. They'll be more comfortable there. Alright. By the way, the voices had s have stopped. And I don't hear that awful laughter anymore. I think I now know what the word happiness means. And yet, sometimes I feel sad. All right, well, those are the three endings. That's those, I, I have children now. What a, uh, what a wonderful and just dark, creepy game. Man, what an experience. Let me know what you thought about this down in the comments. Which was your favorite ending, you know? We, we... We had a future. I thought one of them was going to end up with the ritual actually working and this creature getting burned or killed, but RIP to Marie. She died in every single one of them. That's that's rough. That's rough. This is one of those games where all the endings feel a little unsettling, but it makes you it makes us on the side of this creature that eats people. I don't I don't know. <laughs> Not really good endings necessarily. But definitely an interesting tale of some creature that lives in the woods hunting humans.
By the way, here's a few people that definitely wouldn't kill me and put my skull in a dark tunnel underground. Our channel members, thank you for supporting the channel and myself and not killing me in the woods. Thank you. By the way, thank you all for joining today's adventure and I live under your house. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And of course, hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember with courage and determination, any adventure is possible. And I hope to see you on our next one. Bye-bye.